Hanigat is now some distance from where the Yamuna flows, although previously it used to be on the river's banks. It is number 78 on our map. Once the gopis asked Krishna, to whom should charity be given? Krishna replied, to Devasa, who lives on the other side of the Yamuna. The gopis asked, how will we cross the Yamuna? Krishna said, just say the words, Krishna is the topmost brahmachari and the Yamuna will give you a path. The gopis couldn't believe that, but they tried anyway. And to their surprise, the Yamuna's waters parted and they crossed and arrived in the ashram of Devasa. There they fed him a huge feast of all types of rich and tasty prasadam, and he gave them his blessings. After that, they were preparing to return home, but the gopis became disturbed. How will we cross the Yamuna? Devasa replied, Just meditate on me as a sage who eats only durva grass, and the Yamuna will give you a path. Shumati Radharani asked Devasa, Krishna is always pursuing us for conjugal pastimes, so how can it be a brahmachari? And you just ate a big feast. How could it be that you only eat durva grass? Devasa answered the question about himself first. He said, I'm spirit. How can I be a materialistic enjoyer? It is just the mind that remains among the senses and accepts the sense objects, not the soul. After explaining that he is a spirit soul, aloof from activities like eating, Devasa then responded to the gopi's first question regarding Krishna, who they took to be a lusty young boy. He said, how can Krishna become a materialistic enjoyer? He who possesses a material body and desires material pleasure is lusty. Krishna, who is free from birth and death, who stays in the Vedic scriptures and is glorified in all of them, has no such material body, and therefore he cannot be lusty. When Srimati Radharani and the gopis heard these and other instructions about Krishna from Devasamuni, they were satisfied. And when they meditated on him as a sage who only eats durva grass, the Yamuna parted again here at Panigat, and they returned home.